hell is going on here? Shh. Yeah, yeah. This is so bizarre. I should send it to Richard. The sooner I am done with this, the better. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. January 44, Sector 56, Manhattan. Soho? So four years ago in New York. <sighs> no. Damn. Okay, that looks better. That's not... Almost got it. Damn. There. I should upload it immediately. Okay. Hello? You must be Richard. John? Damn, what are you doing here in the cloud call? Does Adam know? No. Listen, you wouldn't be allowed here. You'll get in trouble. I just want to talk to you. Of course. It's nice to meet you. I also... I also have a son. His name is James. Can I say hello to him? Well, you know, James and his mother aren't in right now. Are they together? I think so. Then James will be happy. For sure. Where did they go? I'm not certain. Do you miss them? Oh yeah, I miss them a lot. I miss my mom. Yes, I, I heard she's got a lot going on at the moment. John, what are you doing? I wanted to talk to Richard. I, I can't believe it. And he, he's letting it happen, too. Hey, hey, relax. He just wanted to... You keep out of this. In your room. We will talk about this later. Unknown has sent you no, data. No, no, no. Enough. Go to your room. Damn. You have new cloud messages. Oh no. Your parents? You'll have to call them back eventually. Eventually? I have to go finish my term paper now. What? No, what? What is that? That's that's not real. It's a, uh, that's not me. Is she awake? 
Barely. But she shouldn't see us. Something's wrong. Let it be, darling. Don't fret. You're safe. Should we abort? Just close your eyes. Let it be, darling. What's wrong? Is she scared? Scared? Of what? Heart rate's good, blood circulation... We're pumping her brain full of nanoliquids and she's scared. I don't get it. I'm increasing her sulfuride dosage. Must be some strange fear of death. Everything okay, Jeff? I wonder, if things go south, which one of them will get a gravestone? The original or the copy? The one with 40% of the brain or the one with the other 60%? The plan's to get rid of gravestones, Jeff. Don't fret. You're safe. Should we abort? Just close your eyes. I hope Dr. Kurtz knows what he's doing, or else I can hear you. God damn it, Ray. Sorry. How's the session going? <sighs> Lousy. The investors demand results, or else they'll switch off our lights at the end of this quarter. Excuse me? God, I hate these people. I offer them immortality, and they ask for a price. 55%. Who's the donor? A student. Lydia Craig. A runaway. Homeless. No family ties. No friends. <laughs> Her brain's being overwritten and she's scared. Odd. Something you want to ask me, Jeff? Same as yesterday. What's going on in Section 1? Jeff, are we building a super AI? Look. I can't tell you everything, it's too important. You must be patient. Sure. How many times have I heard that line already? We will change humanity. We will deliver them. Deliver? How? All we make here are zombies and terrible robots. It's sick what we're doing here. Humanity is sick, Jeff. We are gonna heal it. Drought, riots, terrorism, a never-ending war on resources. Those aren't warning signs. They're symptoms. This world has been beyond hope for a long time, but we're the only ones to admit it. We're building a lifeboat. A lifeboat? Do you really think this arm saved my life? Feels like there's lead in my muscles, like chronic tendonitis. We can't even get a damn prosthesis right now. Suddenly we're doing brain transfers? The arm is your mess, not mine. Hey! Now she's wide awake. Increasing sulfuride to 90? Let it be, darling. The aerotrain to New York has arrived. Boarding will begin shortly. Why not enjoy a refreshing drink at our sky? You have new cloud messages. Oh, uh, Miss Craig. This is Mr. Minsky of the Ferthing and Sons Funeral Home. Uh, once again, concerning the cost of your parents' cremation, You've already been made aware that as the last surviving dependent you're liable to pay, it will extend your period of payment until December 12th. Should you ignore us any further, we'll pass the case on to our law firm. Uh, yes, but uh, you know how to contact us. And once again, my deepest condolences. No new cloud messages. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. Skyway. 
And? She's breathing. She made it, Ray. Blood circulation, heart frequency, all neural patterns have been transferred. Cellular structure. Oh. What? What is it? Her cells are rejecting the implant. Meaning? There are tumors forming all over her body. Congratulations, Doctor. Your lifeboat's riddled with cancer with a life expectancy of three and a half years. The investors will be thrilled. Jeff, Jeff, why so uninspired? Don't you see this is it? The next stage will end all of our problems. The next stage? Hush now, darling. Don't be scared. Just a few more tests. Make sure she won't remember us. Then, set her loose in the city. Uh, Jeff, may I talk to you for a second? What is this place? Do I... Do I know it? Listen, I am hungry. What? Could I? You got no money or what? No. Then get lost. I said get lost. Excuse me? Uh, hello? Could you please open up? Get lost, or I'll call the cops! Hey, you got a few credits for me? Sorry, I got nothing. Looks a bit... Menacing. Uh, I won't be getting scared with that thing. Yeah, but a ticket for coffee? Hello? Please, can someone please help me? Fine, fine. I'm coming already. No need to scream, okay? <coughs> Bolt, do not move. Oh no, I haven't done anything. What are you doing here? Where are you going? I... Officer, she's visiting. Is she now? ID, please. Davis, Angela. ID 245432, Sector 57, West Corners. You live here? Yes. Come in, sweetie. Can I go? Yes. Idiots. Hey, what happened? Wh 
What did they want? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Should I make a call? I just can't. Okay. Okay. Come in first. Ugh. You look terrible. What's your name? Lydia. Okay. Lydia. I'm Angela. So, what's going on? What are you doing here? I have to rest. You can't go home? You live on the street. Let me get you something to drink. Better? Much better. Okay, talk to me. Or, uh, would you rather rest up first? Can I take a look around? Of course, go for it. You're tired, huh? Where did you sleep last night? At the old subway entrance on the street. And where will you stay tonight? Do you want to stay here? I just need a little rest. <laughs> you don't say. Listen, you're completely exhausted. You're staying here. But I... No discussion. You can sleep on the couch. That's mom and dad. Pretty dorky, huh? I think they're sweet. I don't have a single photo of my parents anymore. I deleted everything. Hmm. Then you must have been mad at them. I was. And you regret it now? I don't know. Yeah, probably. They're my work clothes. Uh-huh. It's just cyber sex, babe. I thought only avatars did that stuff now. Or bots. Oh, no. There are still guys out there that want to see a real girl. Are you a student? Mm-hmm. Journalism. Me too. You two have it nice here. Us two? I thought, because of the jacket. He moved out. Oh, it's Jason's. He moved out last summer. Damn it, why do I know this already? I just kept the jacket because, well, actually, I don't know why. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's fine. I'm happy he's gone. That doesn't sound good at all. It's fine, just hurts a little. Hey, you don't happen to have any painkillers for me? Yeah, there are some in the bathroom. Queens is a dump now. I like it. I'd be happy if I could live here. What's wrong, sweetie? You should see a doctor with that kind of cough. No, 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 I'm fine. That could be your boyfriend. Is that Jason? Yes. He looks nice. You can have him. <laughs> I don't need him either. Really? You got someone? Oh, well... You're in love. Something like that. <laughs> oh, come on, that's great! 
He doesn't know, and he's married with a kid. Maybe you know him. Me know him? Hmm. Huh. Now I'm curious. I saw that you have a picture of him lying around. You're kidding. Wait, I'll show you the picture. That's him. What? That's your crush? You know him? You've fallen in love with Richard Nolan? You don't like him? Kinda old for you, isn't he? No. Why? And he has a wife. He's famous! You're homeless! His wife is a supermodel. I mean, he doesn't even know you. Or have you been in contact with him? Of course not. What would I say? Uh, well, that you like him? I can't just... <laughs> Why not? Should I do it for you? Don't you dare. You have new cloud messages. Hey, sweetie. Listen, we'll have to postpone the cloud call a little bit. Just calling to let you know. <laughs> Kisses. <coughs> hey, I'm at the drugstore. What do you need? That tea. Remember the one you brought me? Sure, but don't you dare not go to the doctor this week. Yeah, yeah. Not today, though. I have a customer. Who? That creep from Portland? Oh, stop it. I hope not. Don't take any crap, okay? Sure, Mama. Okay. Take care of yourself. Wait a minute, how much rent do I still owe you? 375 credits. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. That's how much it is. See you later, kiss. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I... I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that... You know. What do you want to talk about? Could you tell me your name? I mean, your real name. I'm Tom. I'm Andrea. Hello, Andrea. How are you? I don't know. My roommate jumped out of our window today. That's... It's okay. I hardly knew him. His work got to him, I guess. Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well, you? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. Thanks, Andrea. You know, for listening. I have to go. Wait. Money has been transferred to your account. 100 credits. 100? Really? Hell. Hey, darling. What's up? Hey, Crystal. What have you been doing all day? Waiting for you. Oh, I know. Could you do me a favor and change your username to doll? And what do you plan to do with me? Mm. <laughs> if you're very quiet, I'll tell you what came to me as I was thinking of you. Okay. Shh. <laughs> Say a word. Lay on your back. What came to you? Shh. Mm. No, uh, that's not right. I I'll send you a skin. Put it on. Your 
arms by your side. You're lying there. It's so... fake. I once saw something about clones. If they had one like you... Oh, stop, that's enough. Be quiet. Don't talk. And now, lay on your stomach. Wrong. I'll tell you again, so that you understand me, okay? Lay on your stomach, turn your head to the left, and stop breathing. Dolls, don't breathe. What am I paying you for if you can't even understand that? What do I expect from a doll? Hangs up. Ugh, what a psycho. Money has been transferred to your account. 300 credits. 300? Ugh. Try someone else, you freak. Hi, Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cybersex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. But not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. I could always just give you some money. Are you serious? Of course. I'll wire you some over. I don't know what to say. James, just tell me what else I can do. You could come over right away. Oh, I understand. Then I guess I'll have to do that. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. Tracy is... bitter. For ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter. Hardened. It's been like this for years. I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. I know. But, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to. Time. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling.
Okay, I should make things a little more cozy here. Warning. System error. Oh no, oh no. This damned smart home. Why now? Stop! Hey! Not that too. Okay. Looking for <coughs> Come, try this. Good boy. Richard, just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. I want to look out the window. Half light. Reading a book. Would you like appropriate lighting? Yes. Finally. There we go. Sorry, I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. Hey, here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes, there you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> If you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. Uh, nonsense. Of course I want to be. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. 
My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Damn it. So, you done? Yeah. Were you listening? <laughs> you were listening. I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family is... As what? A cheater? As a father! <laughs> well, this got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. I... want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I would had no kids. Don't look at me like that. I know how it sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time, was so horrible. The accident, Tracy's scar, and I don't know. I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. What the hell was that? With me, little robot. John! Oh, damn. Hello, Richard. What was going on? I couldn't reach you. Made any progress? How did it go? I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scene seemed to be incomplete. Hmm. Did you see anything? Uh, a street, an apartment. There were two women. Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called... Uh, Lydia? Lydia. You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What else did you see? Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? Where she's coming from, I mean. Her past. No, no idea. Okay. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations are intense. This... Yeah? I had this feeling as if I... You remember something? But that would be great. But... Your son, Richard. How did he survive that? What do you mean? Well, your wife, um... It didn't seem as if the child survived. 
Are you insane? Of course James survived. Okay, okay. It's just... Um, it looked like... Did you see anything else? Anything about James? No. Keep it up. Send me more data. Okay. Sure, Richard. 